Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Out in my front yard with the DJI Spark. Uh, gonna take it up and fly her around here. We've got the sunset going on right now, so we're gonna catch some cool footage, and then I'm gonna show you probably the best kept secret, for me anyway, of the DJI Spark. So as I'm flying around here, I'm just going to chat with you a little bit about uh, the DJI Spark. So this drone has been the easiest drone ever. Um, so it's it, it has all of the cool features of the the Mavic, has most of the cool features of the Phantom 4. It's super easy to fly, really intuitive and also you get a lot of the cool cinematic effects. So you have tripod mode, you have uh, these, these automatic shot modes, which are really cool and pretty nifty. And then you have it all in this tiny little package. But one of my favorite things about the DJI Spark is that I am not a fan of having to pull out SD cards all the time okay so some people don't mind they pull out all the SD cards from all of the cameras that they shoot with and then uh, you know they insert those into a card reader pull them onto their computer import all that footage edit through everything wipe the cards put them back into the devices I'm not the biggest fan of that process I am the type of guy who wants to keep an SD card in a device. I don't want to pull that SD card out. I don't want to have to hassle with card readers. I've had so many problems with card readers. It's actually ridiculous how many problems I've had with card readers. Both the card readers that are built in on computers and card readers that you buy uh, third party. Yeah, I dislike having uh, to pull the cards out of the devices. What I much rather is plug the device directly into my computer and then uh, and then import directly from the device. Now, so many people have been talking about the benefits uh, and the ease of operation with the DJI Spark when it comes to uh, the the remote and the modes and all of that stuff and they've been talking about one of the cool things about the DJI Spark in that you can charge directly from the micro USB port on the drone itself but my favorite thing about the DJI Spark is that you can use that micro USB port to import the footage from your drone onto your computer so that you don't need to remove your SD cards, fiddle with the SD cards or the SD card readers or anything like that and you can just pull that footage straight into your computer from the drone itself. Super super cool. When I'm importing from my vlog camera I can just take this little drone I can hook it up to my computer at the same time and I can import all of that footage. So here's also a little, just a little side tip for Droney. You better be on like the end of the world, you know, a big cliff or something like that with absolutely nothing behind the drone because it doesn't go up at as much of an angle as you would think that it would. You would think that it would be pulling back and up at a, at a pretty decent angle and it doesn't do that. It goes, it goes back and it, it takes a really, really shallow angle approach. So if you don't want to crash into a tree or anything else, then uh, be very, very, very careful with your droney. All right, so I'm having the drone come back in for a landing right now. So we will take it in and we'll hook it up to the computer and I'll show you how this whole process works, getting all your files off the drone without pulling the SD card out. Oh, hey guys, here we are in what is currently the mess that is my computer area. Um, and we have the DJI Spark. We just got done flying it outside. And now we are going to uh, take the footage off of there, put it onto the computer. So what we do here, we get into our computer. 
and we have a USB to micro USB already plugged in here in the computer. This is the cord that I use to put all of the footage onto my computer from any of my cameras. Uh, just plug and go. So, and then you access the micro USB port that is on the back. Oh gosh, come on. On the back of the, uh, the DJI Spark, just above where the battery is. Okay. And then you take your micro USB and you plug it in. All right. Now, it's plugged in there. I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, the window that I want to have all of this stuff go into. Okay, so now we are ready to transfer over the files from the DJI Spark onto the computer. And all we're going to do is power her up. Okay, so we power it up. It's sitting here on the desk. It does its little doo-doo-doo. The lights come on and it's plugged in already it's recognized here we're going to open this folder up and here we got it so here on the computer it comes up right here all the files that we just shot now we can play them directly off of the DJI Spark so there we go this is uh, something that I filmed a few this is something that I filmed back in California uh, that I haven't cleared off of this memory card just quite yet. But yeah, you can play the, the file straight off of the drone. Go back out here. Let's go to one of the files from today. Here we go. So this is a shot of the sunset that I pulled just before bringing the drone back down. And uh, yeah, I know, sorry, I know that there's a really crappy uh, screen glare going on with the camera on my screen here but basically what I'm trying to show you is that you can watch your drone clips directly off of the drone itself and then you can just come in here and do your file transfer directly from the DJI Spark onto your computer without ever having to remove your micro SD card from the DJI Spark so this is definitely my number one little trick or hack that you could do with the DJI Spark. Um, I know that on the Phantom 4, Phantom 3, you can do file transfers from the drone, but you have to connect to the micro USB port that's on the, uh, on the gimbal that's on the drone and that's just uh, kind of sketchy to me. You're putting so much pressure on that gimbal and those gimbals are so um, delicate that I don't like doing that. But, you know, you see here, we are transferring all of this data off of the DJI Spark, throwing it onto my computer so that I can go in and edit this video right now without ever having to pull this SD card, find an SD card reader, any of that kind of stuff. If you're traveling and you don't have an SD card reader, but you need to get your footage off of the drone, this is a really easy way. Or if you're a lazy filmmaker like myself and you don't like having to pull your micro SD cards, put them into an SD card adapter, into an SD card reader that can sometimes cause you problems. So. Um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite way to do it. Hopefully you found this little trick to be helpful for you and your filming with the DJI Spark. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Make it a great day. Peace out.